in battle. Some people were also saying that was fucked up, Ralph. You picked the one game Jim said he wasn't any good at. First off, Jim could very well be lying. I don't, I don't know if, if this has crossed anybody's mind. That he it's all, be... all just a coincidence, right, Ralph? Just <laughs> yeah. a, a wild coincidence you'd pick that game. Yes. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the one game I play. Well, hold on. You restricted me to the list of games that you have. You mean all 40 fucking fighting games? <laughs> yeah. I restricted you to a list of 40 fighting games. Melty Blood, King of Fighters. You've got uh, Blaze Blue on there. Tekken's on there. You, got, you had a lot of Naruto. We could have played Naruto. <laughs> I want to see that one. <laughs> I almost picked that one just for the joke aspect of it, but but I I, I but no, I, you I, you I, honed in on the one that I said. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not a big Mortal Kombat guy. That's the one you feel confident in. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so when do you want to do it? Uh, well, so what was your what day did you want to do this? My proposal. Now I realize a lot of people you don't know, have celebrations or. You know, New Year's Eve is kind of a romantic holiday. Maybe you have, you know, quiet dinner planned or, you know, some some type of thing like that. My original thing, just for, you know, maximum, uh, you know, exposure, was a New Year's Eve event. Uh, that was that was my idea. Of course, I assume there would be some drinking involved as well since it's New Year's Eve. But if you have something going on New Year's Eve, maybe maybe the weekend. <laughs> yeah, no, I have something going on. Yes. <laughs> so, okay, since you're, since you're booked up on New Year's Eve, uh, we could do the 29th or the 30th. Um, you know, I, I could do the 30th. Uh, what okay. So we're doing Mortal Kombat 10 on the 30th. Uh, what are we doing? Five out of seven then? Yeah, it has to be some type of series. Yeah. Best, what, a best of seven or? Sure, best of seven will work. Um, mm -hmm. So what are the stakes? Well, that was another thing I was thinking about on Twitter. We have to have some type of, you know, gamble on it or some type of wager. Uh, how about if I win uh, for the next week? Uh, weeks worth of shows that you do the only thing you can show on screen is a picture of philip Burnell's face with a tagline this man is better than me at video games <laughs> that has to be in the <laughs> in the middle of the screen during the no, entire it's process. the whole screen <laughs> no, nothing, no, goes, <laughs> nothing goes over the picture of phil now no wait but that's gonna be hard that'll be hard to do the show at all though because i have to bring up you know audio visual elements and stuff like that i mean well, how about, hey, how about it mean, will be on the screen. It'll start the show on the screen, filling up the whole screen, and then it will be on the screen in a in a readable, you know, visual, not not a little bitty thing, you know, in a sizable. Form okay. Well, if screen. I compromise with you on that, okay. okay. Um, you have to do a promo for Philip Burnell's Twitch <laughs> channel, inviting people to come sub to him for the most premier video game action they can get. And it's got to be a real promo. Like you got to put your fucking heart into it, and you've got to play it. At the start of your show for that week, every okay. day. That's fine. That's fine. All right. What do you? What's your? What's your turn? Well, okay. No, what? I don't know. It's, I don't have one. I, awesome. I that works for no, me. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. I, give me time, and I'll think of one. I, I mean, you're putting me on the spot to think of one on the spot. I, I haven't. I, I just don't have anything right now. Maybe I can look in chat. What? A, what do you have, Gator? What? What would be your idea? I can't think of anything off top. Are right, you kicking it to me? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Let's let's uh, I don't know. Let me think. Uh, you have to. So you, I mean, you don't stream every single day. No, uh, I do. I do Sundays. Uh, I'll probably do a couple weekdays and stuff on Streamy once I, I've been testing out stuff and fucking around with the settings. Okay. Uh, you have to start off every Sunday stream for the next month. Uh, with a plea for king of paul to accept your dick pics every single <laughs> every single okay, sunday stream and it has to be serious it has to be no no laughing just a dead plea for king of paul to please answer your dms and <laughs> please accept your dick pics you've been messaging him all week long why will he not respond to you uh you know what i'm, I'm game i'll do it okay okay all right <laughs> For a uh, month, I, every Sunday stream from the big show, the big one. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure it's main channel, main <laughs> audience. You okay. got it. That's fine. All right. Okay. All right. I'm now, in. now, if your ass tries to bring in a ringer, I'm going to know it. <laughs> no, so I won't don't do try that. that shit where There's, you find no, somebody in the fighting game community no, no. and let him have access to your Steam account. I won't do that. I promise you. He's not going to pull a donga do. here. I will not do that. And now, people on Twitter have already been warning me that you will possibly send Jade as a ringer. So I'm ho I'm hopefully you won't do that. Oh, no, if, we, if it was like an FPS, maybe. But no, she doesn't play fighting games. Okay. No, I won't do that. If I lose, I lose. No, you know, 
and that we'll have we'll have fun with it. But no, I will not send a ringer. I promise. Yeah, you. no, I, I feel pretty confident. I mean, I watched you play. What is it, War of the North? <laughs> No, it's War of Rights, War of Rights, yes. Oh, well, it should have been called War of the North because you won it for them. <laughs> Running around southern lines, getting shot in the face every five seconds, popping out from buildings. Hey, look over here. This is where we all are. Shoot over here. That's good stuff. <laughs> they actually banned me from the from the server last night because somebody team killed me, and then I just went around, and I, I didn't realize they kicked you off the server after three straight team kills. I just went around and started killing people. And Are these official servers or player servers? Uh, these are official servers, so they're still in alpha. They have a thing where you can rent a server, but I don't. I haven't explored it yet. But yeah, they they banned me last night. But it's the ban is expired, so I'll probably play it a little bit again later. Uh, the game but, looks fun and stuff, but if nobody's gonna like get into it, I, I was watching the fucking anarchy reigning as you were playing that game. Nobody would line up. Nobody was following yeah. directions. Yeah, so it's it's kind of built around you know teamwork and stuff. And when you're just running around and not following the officers and stuff, it doesn't. It doesn't really work out that well, but uh, it's it's fun and it looks great. But yeah, there's just not enough people playing it right now. No, no, yeah, that's understandable. But I'm well, not I mean, gonna I'm not gonna be spending too much time on that the next week or so because I'm gonna be putting most of my time in on Mortal Kombat 10, and I'm not gonna stream any of that. All all those preparations will be done. Maybe I'll stream a little bit. Maybe a couple days before I'll stream just just so people. Well, don't yeah, think I, I, I could use a good, I could use a good laugh before we have a all match. Right. All right, maybe <laughs> I'll show a little bit uh, beforehand, but no, I, I just bought the uh, the XL pack Mortal Kombat 10 today. So it's pretty cheap. It was only like eight dollars. I think they're about to bring out 11 in April, so that's probably why. But yeah, it's it's like four months away, so they're gonna yeah. drop everything, and it's you know winter sale, all that shit. So yeah, so I got it. I will be preparing, training. I'm sure you'll probably put in a little work as well. So we're gonna do it. Uh, let's see, the 30th. That will be on a Sunday. So I guess it'll be after after your stream or whatever time you do your stream. We'll do it. Uh, we'll do it that evening. Uh, yeah, I can just I can broadcast it while I'm doing the stream. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Why not do it on the big show? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Um, so <laughs> let me. I'm gonna find a perfect picture of Phil for you to put up on the screen. <laughs> um, I've got I've got a winner. I think that you'll like that. Uh, it, it's really gonna pop with the background. I think it'll be. I think it'll be good stuff. Okay. So. So re repeat the terms of the deal so everybody's clear. Uh, so I guess the terms of the deal is uh, on the 30th, we'll play a best of seven round uh, in Mortal Kombat X. Right. Um, and if I lose, I have to do a, I guess, a dedicated segment at the beginning of each show begging King of Pole to send me his delicious dick pics that I've been asking for on DMs. Yes. And if you lose, you have to do a promotional piece that you play at the start of every episode for a week. Uh, telling people that they need to subscribe on Twitch to DSP. Yes. As well as putting up a picture of the beautiful man and the text, this man is better at video games than I am. Yes. And that, <laughs> that, that, that is the deal. And, but the only caveat is, so I can't, like I'll do the, I'll do the intro at the beginning of every show and I'll keep the picture up, but I'll, I'll have to, like, it'll be down like in the corner, still visible, still solid size. But just so I can still use the middle of the screen, so I can still show videos and stuff. I'm sure Phil's going to appreciate the boost <laughs> uh, to his sub count. On I mean, well, maybe not. I mean, he's rolling in sixteen, seventeen thousand already this month, so maybe he doesn't need the money. But it'll still be entertaining. All right, we'll see. We'll see. You're you're talking a lot of shit. Are you are you that confident that you're just gonna you're just gonna skunk me on on the thirtieth? Oh no, I'm terrible at video games, but you're worse. So I feel pretty <laughs> confident. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right. We'll see what happens. Although you can ask the motherfuckers that watch me play Dusk. So I mean, I'm 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 not good at video games, but I've seen you play, so I'm feeling pretty fucking good right about now. I'm I'm fairly confident that this is gonna go well. All right, all right. Well, it's set then. This is gonna be fun. Hey, where the fuck is uh, Zidane? Oh, uh, Zidane is on. He's been like he had to go do this work trip, so he's been out of town for like the last two weeks. I think he's coming back the first week of. Uh, January. So he's, some days he's been here, some days he's not. Uh, he's going to be here tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, he's been in and out. So it really just depends on like the internet that he can get at the time. So tonight I resort to like shitty hotel internet. But tomorrow, tomorrow he said he should be good. Yeah. So he's been he's been in and out. Yeah, yeah. I did uh, when I did my first stream on Stream Me. Um, I did like a poll at the very end. It seems like the majority of people it works fine for them. Uh, but there, you know, I'd say there was like a good 20% that had kind of intermittent or intermittent like dropouts and then maybe like 40 or 50 people where it was just unusable. Uh, do you know if they're doing like any, any upgrades or anything on the yeah, site? Yeah. So I was talking to them actually tonight. They said the chat, like mo the, not the chat, but the stream was kind of cutting in and out. Now, some people that I talked to never have problems. Like it's just, it's always good. It's always good. Others 
so maybe the flashing gifts will will make their their computer slow down or whatever, uh, and then others are just like, ah, oh, it's it's fucked up. Now usually it's the, it's a very small minority, like you said, forty or fifty people will just say, ah, I can't use this. Uh, but yeah, I know they are working on that. They're very responsive if if you send them a message or an email. Uh, you know, they, they try to help out as quickly as possible. Now, the first few streams I did, they actually gave, I don't, you know, you don't have to talk about this if you don't want, but they actually gave me a different server that was like specifically uh, war-gamed uh, to to uh, withstand some punishment. I might ask them for that server again. Oh, li- lucky you. I was just using US East, is it? Uh, one of the fucking US servers. Uh, yeah. So what is the one? Yeah, so the one I'm using now is the, I think it's the origin.stream.me or whatever. I don't even that's know. That's the regular one, yeah. Yeah, that's just the regular one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I might I might have to ask them for the other. But I mean, I think overall the site's been been working pretty well. What do you think about it so far? I, you seem to be pretty uh be pretty high on it. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I like having an alternative. Um, I don't think uh, I don't think things are going to go well on YouTube over the next couple of years for people. So having something I mean, sure like- as hell couldn't show uh, a woman shoving spaghettios into her vagina on YouTube. That would have been an instant ban, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it'd be hard to. Why? Well, yeah, in front of a large audience, showing yeah. interior semiotics. Yeah, that would have been probably difficult. Or the casting couch porn thing probably would have been a bit difficult. I mean, I wanted to show ISIS beheadings, but I guess that probably was crossing the line. So. That's one of the one <laughs> things they they kind of. So they said it's kind of they kind of have a gray area. So I they said, well, you know, like uh, extreme violence, and I said, well, you know, sometimes riots break out or whatever, and we might do a live stream. Is that? You know, is that forbidden? And they said, well, no, not really. Not if it's, you know, you know, a news event, that's okay. But if, if they start shooting people and, and stuff like that, maybe, you know, maybe pull back. Maybe, you know, so. maybe think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe think about it. Just consider it. Uh, and then nudity, of course, they they don't want they don't want that. But Well, yeah. see, I wanted to, like, people were asking for, like, pain Olympics. And I was thinking, I wonder, I wonder if it's late enough at night that I can see that on. <laughs> Pretty, I'm pretty sure. I mean, most stuff they they let you get away with. And then another thing they said was um, the the streamy community uh, try try to be try to be you know a little nice to them maybe. But I, I don't even I don't know. I, I don't even know that they really enforce that because uh, oh, I I don't have any intention of fucking with anybody on the platform. I yeah. mean, I kind of feel bad. Most people have like small shows and stuff. That's why Adam take me off the uh, the contest list. Yeah, so I talked about that on Monday because I was on Coach's stream and then uh Danish Police is another channel on here and they're just like, Oh, Jim got taken off the list for for spamming or something and I was like, Oh, what the fuck? And I actually messaged them because I was like, Oh no, that's not right. You know. No, no, I I, I asked the said, guy when I talked to him about yeah. setting it like I was going over technical details and I was like, Yeah, I just uh take me out of the contest because I I didn't I thought it'd be kind of dickish if I came over and I brought a larger audience and then I secured one of the top spots. Because that's going to push whoever is at the bottom off. Yeah, like, if you want to build a platform, you want the small really guys dick, to come. That's a really dick move. To it is. It is well. yeah. God, <laughs> what kind of asshole, kind of would, of asshole <laughs> would do that? Just come over there and take the top slot and, and drop everybody down the list. And take Listen, off. I just don't want to see Narcissa Wright throw herself <laughs> off a fucking bridge. Okay? So they need that $10 a week to fucking survive. <laughs> Oh, I was going to ask you. Oh, there are a couple of things, I guess, before before you go. Uh, what, what did you? You talked about it a little bit already, but Monkey Jones got got uh, booted off YouTube. A lot of other yeah, Mon- Monkey got thrown off, and then ER keeps getting fucking. He'll get a strike, and then they'll reverse it, and then they'll take down another video or put it up in limited state. Like he has a target on his head from the PewDiePie thing. It's kind of like a shell game at this point. I know a lot of people were critical of PewDiePie because he took the the recommendation out of the video. He went back and edited it, but we watched a video of his the other night. Uh, where he was responding to the Vox article that was calling him, I don't know, gateway to the alt-right or something like that. And the whole video was pretty much an extended <laughs> advertisement for ER. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard for me to be too critical of, of PewDiePie. Well, I, I like ER's videos. I've watched I've watched a lot of them. Um, and it would suck if his channel gets pulled down. I've seen a few of Monkey's, too. Uh, but from what I understand, Monkey, uh, didn't he have Dick Masterson help build a website? To yes, put he did, and he launched it just today. Uh, now, I went on there, and there was, I think there's still a few bugs on it, but it seemed to work fairly well. Uh, and I, now I wonder how many other people are going to, uh, you know, move to that, just having their own website. I mean, that might be the final end game, actually. Uh, but streaming's been pretty good so far. So I'm uh, telling you, I think the future is going to be Pajinko payments, where <laughs> it's where you're buying credits from, you know, from the website, yeah. and then those those credits are in the form of something 
uh, you know, like bobbles or whatever. And every time somebody does something and donates a bobble, the streamer keeps it and then they can exchange it at a different service, you know, for cash back. That way the money's not directly going through PayPal facilitated through the streaming service. Something, some kind of Japanese version of well, that's basically what D Live does. I mean, with the well, no, what D Live does <laughs> is stutters every five seconds as it overheats your graphics card with the world's shittiest Bitcoin miner. Uh, but I mean, that's the the theory behind the whole Lino coin or whatever the fuck they call that shit. I don't know. It was it was, it was a little. Oh yeah, so somebody's going to have to take a, a different approach. I mean, I think I think that's what it's going to be. I, nobody's like this idea that you're going to be able to create your own payment processor by pulling it out of your ass. I mean, you've got to. There's so much involved with that. I mean, you've got to work something out with somebody like Stripe or somebody that's comparable to them to deal with bank accounts. Then you've got to have a relationship with the credit card companies. Finally, with PayPal, you know, and it's it's just this giant clusterfuck of I, I don't even know how they do it. <clears throat> I mean. Patreon's getting strong arm too. I mean, I know nobody likes their decision, but remember they had to pull people down before the Sargon thing um, because Visa told them to. Or was it MasterCard? One I of think the it, was MasterCard. it was MasterCard. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and that so wasn't Patreon. That some uh, apparently they've identified the person in MasterCard that was responsible, and it's some tranny or something like that. I never heard back from that person, but they said yeah that they had some information about who was doing it. Yeah, and the thing is, like, you know, with a decision like that, they can't do shit about it. I mean, it's the same It's the same thing that happened to, uh, was it BitChute, when Stripe said, we've got to end the relationship. We're being told by uh, one of our partners that we have to do it. It's not our decision. Uh, one of the things about Streamy, so the, the Super Chats, well, I, I know, she, and I actually I messaged you because I was just like, oh, Jim doesn't have a Super Chats on, but then it turned out, you know, you did that on purpose. Uh, but the, the Super Chats don't go through Streamy, but the... Um, the subscriptions and stuff does, and the and the whatever the contest money goes through them. So uh, they'll actually pay oh, you out. Oh, oh wow, huh? Yeah. <laughs> who saw that coming? Okay. <laughs> uh, no, who who could have foreseen? I wonder who else had thought about that. But yeah, uh, so that goes through them. They actually send you a check. So that's something that uh, they can't really shut down. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know. I mean, I I know that uh, when Josh was on the stream with uh, me, you and CRP, he had said that he thought stream me was kind of on a limited time scale. I think it's going to be left alone for at least a few years. I, I don't think there's uh, anybody gunning for it. I don't know. Um, you know, I think they have time to build up. And I fully suspect, I mean, the guys I talked to were super nice, but I fully suspect that um, <laughs> they'll go the, the way of every corporation of, well, we've got to nice it up a little bit now that we've got some traffic. I'm fine with that. I just want a platform where I can fuck around for a little while before the internet burns down to a crisp. Yeah, I think we got some time. I think what Josh said they would be done by the end of the year, which, uh, I mean... Obviously, I mean, there's still a few days left in the year, but uh, I don't think I don't think that's the case. Uh, they seem to be kind of, you know, off the radar at this point. They're kind of just letting us do our own thing over here. Who knows how long that'll last? But uh, well, yeah, I mean, you got you got people doing like prank calls, watching videos. Yeah, it reminds me of, like uh, what it used to be like. Like you know, you go like Justin a TV or fucking UStream or whatever, and people would be fucking around doing whatever they want, and they were left alone, and that's what made it so entertaining. Like I miss that. You know, uh, Twitch you can't do that on anymore. Good luck trying that on YouTube. So it's nice to have a platform where you can fucking laugh at shit. Yeah, I, and I'm thankful. Obviously, they gave us the, the landing spot after our uh, a violent sunset there on YouTube. Uh, let me read a few of these because there's a few questions for you. Uh, l let me just try to pick out the the questions first off. Somebody asked, "Did you see the uh, Sargon of Akkad anime?" Uh, yeah, I think that you got to ask that. On yeah, no, so, somebody asked me about that. I didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. I thought that they, they were telling me that somebody actually gone to the time of making like a high end anime for Sargon. Well, I don't know if I'd call it high end necessarily, but uh, they did. They did go through and make like a little cartoon series. I'll send you the link. Like apparently. Newground style. Cartoon. Yeah, apparently there's yeah. the playlist. Uh, yeah, see, I don't like I, I, when you when you tell me anime, I'm not thinking like Flash. Right. So uh, I had like I, I thought, OK, what Japanese studio would make a fucking anime <laughs> no, no. about carl benjamin and why yeah it's not it's not <laughs> like that it's it's more of a little ham i mean it's kind of funny in places it's corny in places too but yeah i i enjoyed it it's pretty good there's a future art contest idea right there <laughs> <laughs> senator hitler says please ask mr Medicare if he's heard of spcc or remembers his appearance on the show last week spcc would love to call i'm on his skype stream this weekend yeah that's the guy that does prank calls have you seen any of that yeah, I've seen some of the prank call shows. I I, I wasn't on the stream. At least yeah, not to no, my that knowledge. Was, yeah, but okay. that was, that's a meme that they have going, yeah. Unless they got a soundboard. In which case, throw it up on Newgrounds. You can, uh, <laughs> you can use my Bohefans Bob board. That was a fucking great one, too. 
guy gets into a call with his friends on YouTube. This is like eight years ago. And it's an hour and a half of him just screaming and crying because his grandmother told his 28 year old ass to get out of the basement and get a job. <laughs> and he goes into like these long philosophical rants about final fantasy and how it relates to not having friends. It's some of the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. <laughs> um, Can I see that? 1488 forever says, if you win, Jim uploads the better help video. That was what he said. I should have uh, made the stipulation. <laughs> <laughs> should have, could have, would have, but we got our, it's too late. It's too late. We got our term set. It's too late for that. We've already agreed. Uh, let's see. Medicare Finbot says, looking forward to those King of Paul requests. LL Ralph, don't you dare lose. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a little bit of pressure now. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Dima210 uh, says, I'll be sending in my song to Jim for this week's contest, whose theme is the death of a channel. The song will pay respects to a certain YouTube late night talk show, now gone but never aborted. Oh, well, thank you, sir. I'm sure I was already, I already saw there'd probably be some entries, uh, for the, for the old kill stream here. And that's, that's fine. Have you, have you gotten any entries uh, just yet? Have you examined any of them? Yeah. Yeah. A couple of people have sent some through. I've watched a couple of them. Uh, there's one based off the uh, political ad dumpster fire, which is pretty good. That's another, wow. another one's got uh Sargon smugly chuckling over heavy metal. So <laughs> there's, there's, there are a couple different ones. Now, did you see Sargon got a strike on his channel today? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Uh, which, wait, which channel? Uh, the main one. For what? For, he had a video up, I, I guess I could, I, I have it, I don't know if you want to see it, but it's the, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen it before or not, let me see if I have the, uh, the link here. It's, it's, uh, it's the one with the gay niggers from outer space, uh, video where he just, uh, <laughs> repeats about i don't know was that was that the title of the video because i could i could imagine what got somebody's attention in youtube now, i i have the arc up should we should we watch it it's up to you if you want to see it but he just repeats a bunch of i don't know it's it's oh no no i i think i know which one you're talking about is that the yeah yeah, yeah. Where he talks about chinks and niggers and retards and and all this and that all throughout the video i think he made you know he was he was trying to be you know comedic genius or whatever and he made it back in 2015, and a lot of people... We've played it on this show before. And uh, you would think maybe now would be the time maybe to have taken that video down, but I guess, you know, he wanted to call their bluff or whatever, and he left it up, and he ended up getting a strike today, so... I, I, I yeah. No, I, I didn't... I've, I've been, you know, busy with other things. Um, the last kind of thing I've been keeping up with was when Sherat did his little... Oh, Inter interview saying the Daily that he Beast was, uh, thing. Yeah. that he was lured in like a kid into a candy van by the alt right or some shit. By the e the evil YouTube algorithm lured him in. He was just watching what was it video game reviews? I think is what he said something like that. And he got uh, progressively lured in. And it forced him to become a a rabid MGTOW, and he made him hate women. And oh yeah, that's what did it. It was yeah. those YouTube videos. <laughs> yes. it wasn't. I mean, this is the genius that tried to fuck a lesbian. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he's got the biggest brain and that's what did it to him. Uh, just what What do you think about the whole, we talked about this a little earlier in the show and wild goose has tweeted about it as well, that uh, it's pretty clear that Kraut and shit rat and, and a few others are actually, you know, feeding uh, Jared Holt's stories. And this has been, you know, obvious for a couple months. I've noticed Kraut and shit rat and a lot of them, uh, you know, tweeting out his his articles and oh, this is something you need to read. The, so James Alsop was just here. Mm -hmm. uh, they they did an article on James Alsop. You know, leading this massive hate campaign against uh, Based Mama, and that was uh, an article that uh, Holt writ had had written up, and and that got promoted by Kraut in particular. Uh, and I th I want to say he was quoted in that article. Uh, and then we have the the Stefan Molyneux article. I guess it was yesterday where they accuse him of being a a plagiarist, uh, and that was another one they promoted. Then, then we have the Daily Beast uh, Kel Kelly Wheel article, where you know, I mean, shit rat is most of the article is him, you know, quotes from him. Well, now, now I don't know if they're working directly with uh, with Jared Holt. I mean, uh, Holt seems to kind of pay attention to to things. I think that's where he's picking strands up from. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're sending him shit, but I, I would figure if Kraut was the one that was contacting Holt specifically, we would have had like a dedicated JF article as the first fucking one. Well, that's and that's an, well, that's another thing. I mean, it's not just necessarily Holt. And if you look at the Wall Street Journal article, uh, I, I don't think Yori Ko just picked that up out of nowhere. 
uh, the whole kill stream thing. I, I don't think she was a you know an avid follower of that scene. If you just read the article, there's it's clear that she doesn't really know much of what's going on. And in her emails to me, it was it was pretty clear that she didn't really know. It much. was like she was being spoon fed information yeah. from somebody. Yeah, and the, and the way she described things it just was, you know, was it was like somebody who didn't understand it trying to describe it. Well, it was uh, like somebody that understood it explained it to somebody who didn't understand it, who then explained it to her. And so you could kind of tell that there was at least two telephones going on here. Yeah, and but the point I was going to make is, you know, JF was a huge target in that article. I mean, the, the actual picture of the article is just a big picture of JF. Uh, now he was able to parry it, obviously, and I and I and I quite clearly was not. Uh, but uh, yeah, because we called her a big chink bitch, I think. I yeah, think that yeah, been I might have. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it wasn't as tact tactful a response as I as I could have mustered there. Uh, but uh, uh, but JF and I've had somebody tell me this. Well, uh, somebody you know, just private, said here. He, somebody just said in your chat. Luther Sloan said that shit rat was tweeting about ER hours before Jared Holt got onto the story. Yeah, I, I think that's this, true. Yeah, he was. I think that they're actually, I mean, you know, these people are looking for stories as it is, but I do think a lot of this stuff is, is coming from that group. I mean, uh, you think, yeah, they, well, gay ops are eternal. They never, they never end. The 24 seven is a continuous cycle. Yeah. Now let me also ask you, and we'll, we'll get you out of here in a minute, but uh, what, what did you, why do you think there's not been any real, you know, a lot of articles about you? Uh, are you trying to throw the heat on no, to me no, there, Ralph? I'm not, I'm not trying to throw the heat, but I've had other people ask me this too. It's like You've done this before, Ralph. You no. said, hey, Jim, Jim, what would happen if your YouTube channel went down? And I was like, oh, I'll live with it. A week later, YouTube channel goes down. And here's fucking Ralph again. Oh, boy, Jim. Oh, uh, you know, Stop I'm giving curious. people ideas. What happens if they wrote an article about you? I'll tell you what, Ralph. If they write an article about me and they ask me for an interview, I'm going to tell them I'm your cult member and that you bred and raised me. On all right talking points, you hate the Jews and the blacks and everybody else. <laughs> Ethan Ralph groomed Mr. Medicare uh, on everything he knows. He's been telling me this for years, all the way going back to the old days, uh, Gamergate days. Uh, finally, radicalized me. Uh. See, I, I'm an innocent boy. Uh, like you can't pin shit like Gamergate on me. We all know Monday Matt's the one who started that. He's taken full credit, so I'm happy to oblige. Um, I didn't do the charity stream. I'm just a good boy that appeared on it. I've been groomed, Jared. Uh, you know, hit me up. I've been groomed <laughs> by this fucker. <laughs> All right. He fills me with hate and vitriol and just venom. I, uh, Jared Holt, I love black people. I love the Jews. But this man won't let me do that. He hates them. Puts these thoughts in your head every single time. Does. He puts them right in my fucking head. <laughs> All right, January 30th, the date is set. January 30th, December 30th, uh, the date is set for the, the Mortal Kombat. What are we going to call it, though? I mean, we have to have some type of snazzy title. Uh, the PSP Invitational. Well, you know what? When Jared and I talk, uh, talk via email, <laughs> uh, probably the next few days, we'll come up with a snazzy fucking title for it. All right, we have to have a title. Now, my original thought, uh, well, I mean, it was kind of a joke statement, but I, you know, I bet we could sell more pay-per-views for this than, than Worski and Tonka could sell for this, right? <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's coming up. I mean, we're we're less than a month away, less than thirty days away from uh, uh, Donka and his Iron Buffalo facing off against Worski in the ring. Yeah, I'm gonna be there in Knoxville with Worski. So, uh, w w are you looking forward to that? Do I want to watch an idiot <laughs> get beaten in the ring? I mean, yeah, I guess I'll I'll enjoy that. Uh, I'll have to watch the highlight clips. Yeah, yeah. Well, one thing is they're charging thirty dollars uh, for the pay per view. I th I think that's a bit overpriced, actually. Uh, I think if they were selling it for like five or ten, they would. Well, sell I mean, they're, they're, it's thirty for the pay per view because they have actual fights happening. Not yes, for, that's true. Yeah. Not for Warski and a fucking trailer park Indian. <laughs> like that's you know that's not what the fucking draw for the thirty dollar ticket is. But don't you think they would sell more? They would make more money if they lowered the price a little bit, though, right? Oh, I, I, I it, <laughs> Ralph, did you take economics in college? <laughs> Could you, no, could but, I mean, you they make would, more money by lowering the they price? They would sell more overall pay-per-views, and they would end up making more money. That's what I think. <laughs> well, I'll have to ponder on that one. <laughs> Let me hit up my macroeconomics professor. Okay, we'll look it up. I mean, I, I'm not the only one who thinks that. I mean, or to separate it out, maybe you could just sell the Worski, uh, the Worski Tonka fight just by itself, uh, and do that. Maybe I, I just think I don't know. Thirty dollars. I think they're. Why I, I you know I, we we're so far into this now and there's you know again yeah, it's, it's less than yeah. it's thirty days away I mean there's no, either of them pull out they're never going to hear the end of it they yeah, have they, to show up at this point it's so too you, much cock teasing you think Tonka's going to show up like I do 
I, I, I don't know how he could manage not to show up at this point. Like, how would he ever show his face on the internet? All those, you know, years of talking about how he wants to fight people in real life, how he's challenging fucking everybody. If he doesn't show up once somebody finally accepts, uh, he'll, he'll never hear the end of it. It will never go away. Well, even his diehard cult members over there at the Kumite, I mean, even most of those would, would call bullshit if he didn't show up for this. Like, I mean, he, he that's my point. He absolutely has to show up or just delete everything, one or the other. I mean, I guess if he doesn't care, he just deletes it all. Well, I know Worski said he's been training, um, yeah. and I know he's been showing off like he was. Uh, he did one stream where he's like in a muscle t-shirt, flexing and shit. <laughs> yes. um, but Taka said he was like getting trained by an MMA guy eight nine hours a day, and I think Zoom called up and they're like, "We've never heard of this guy." That, yeah, that was a lot. They, he also said some stuff about uh, AJ Styles back in the day, and uh, that was also a lot. AJ Styles is a big wrestler for WWE. Ralph, what are you going to do if you're sitting in the audience, right? And Worski's in the middle of the ring, and they say, and here's Tonka Saw. And you can hear the squeaks <laughs> as the wheels are being turned. As this man who can't use, like, he, he wheels up to the arena and crawls in it. Are you going to be, are you going to feel any pangs of sympathy, or are you going to laugh? By the way, I, I'm being such a cheapskate. I'm actually not even paying for a ticket. I'm just going to be in Worski's corner down by the cage. So, uh, <laughs> I actually clarified that to make sure I didn't didn't have to buy a ticket. So I'm I'm gonna be there for, for free actually. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I've, the only picture or the most recent picture I've seen of him is him standing there with Vamp, and Vamp has her arm like locked underneath his arm, and it looks like you would hold you know how you're holding up a sick family member or something while they're trying to get into their wheelchair, you're trying to you're trying to get him up onto the hospital bed or something, and she's clearly propping this guy up. I don't know if he's. I, I don't know. I, I'm not completely convinced that uh, that he has full control of his motor skills. Uh, he, he looks like a stock of corn. Yeah, I know he's he's just skinny looking. Yeah, you yeah, saw the picture. Yeah, I saw it. I saw the picture. Yeah. Um. Do you think Andy? Now, I, if he's got a sense of humor, right? And I I can't tell him how to do his ring entrance, right? But um, maybe if he got if he got like an Indian headdress and a wheelchair, and he, that's how he went up to the ring. And he has to come uh, out to the Kumite theme, too, as well, right? How angry do you think Hoffman <laughs> is if he's not handy wheeling his way up to the fucking boxing ring or whatever the fuck it is? Yeah, I've been, I feel like shit. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be the Kumite song. And I've been talking to him. I actually have a, like a, um, I guess it's like a ceremonial, uh, like, bow. <laughs> like that has a feather on it. Maybe I'll bring that with me too. Or, or maybe he could dress up uh, like uh, General Custard. You know what I mean? Like just <laughs> full on coming out there to get some revenge. But yeah, we've been talking about it. So we're, we're trying to figure Andrew out what Jackson. we're going to do. Trail of Tears Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. Uh, you know, your chat's got a fair point. What are you going to do if you and Coach is going to be there? Other people are going to be there? What Dick are you Masterson's going to be there. Nick Ricardo, you're, yeah. you're all You're all sitting at ringside. You're all ready for the fight. And neither of them show up. Oh, God. Well, look, if if Worski, I have full confidence Worski going to show up. If he doesn't show up, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to call him out for sure forever because I, first off, I rented this place and everybody's coming and I've been talking about it for a month and a half and we'll still be talking about it for another month. So, yeah, I, I have confidence Worski's going to show up. And I even think Tonka's going to show up just for this, you know, the simple facts that we laid out. That Well, if he was going to pull to. out, he would have had to have pulled out by now. You can't, you can't let it go on this long and then be like, oh, something happened, you know, oh, uh. Uh, a meteor hit my trailer, you know, the fucking government's coming out because they're alien spores on it or something. I, I I won't be able to see you guys for eight months. Now, most fight contracts will have some type of like injury pr provision, though. Uh, but still, it, it would have, you know, I, I don't think people are going to be accepting of any type of injury excuse. Uh, now, even big fights have been called off for, you know, oh, so and so broke his hand training or whatever. Uh, but I don't think that that's going to fly. Uh, unless you know you have verifiable fact that now, you don't don't give Taka any ideas because I have a feeling he would fly out to Andy's gym and then fucking replace the punching bags like put lead weights in them hoping he cracks his hands on them when he goes to fucking <laughs> the speed bag or something. What about him and uh, with your little uh, bet offer there and he he kept trying to renegotiate that. Three yeah, he wouldn't. Times? I put the bet out. He wouldn't accept it. So there's not much I can do past that. I mean, if he's so fucking calm. Oh, wait. are you still there? You cut out for a sec. Yeah, you cut out. I thought that was me. I thought it was my internet that cut out for a sec. 
I also thought Pretty it was well. my internet. Oh wait, yeah, you're you're back. You cut out for a minute. You cut out for like oh, the I, last I, yeah, stream me just uh, reloaded on me. It probably threw shit through a loop. Okay. Uh, no, I was saying, yeah, if he's so confident, just just put a fucking dress on if you lose, right? I mean, like he he thinks he's gonna destroy Andy, doesn't he? Well, that's that. Yeah, I mean, you you put up your channel with no, I mean, you know, no compunction about it whatsoever. It's like, yeah, I'll put it up. Show that was him. his initial and offer. Bone zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His initial offer was that. Oh, Jim, Jim, Jim. Okay, fine, fine. If I if I'll do that. If you're gonna, you know, if you lose. Put a fucking dress on, put heels on, put some lipstick on, and walk up and down the fucking street outside the arena telling people you suck cock for $5. Well, you know, he talks like he's just absolutely going to destroy Andy. Andy has no chance, you know, this and that. I mean, if you're so confident, yeah, why not just why not just take that bet? There's no way you're going to have to fulfill your end anyway, so. I mean, he'll probably get a date out of it, you know. Andy <laughs> wanted to start the trap no state, so, hey. He's got now, that long, those long, he's got that long hair, probably... Probably look the part. Talk, oh, I don't know. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <there you go. laughs> Official prediction. Worski versus Tonka. Who, who are you predicting? Uh, well, given the fact that Andy seems to actually be training and he seems motivated and pissed off, um, I'm going to put, um, I, I think Andy's going to win, to be honest with you. Like That's if I saw something out of Tonka, if Tonka was putting shit up where he's doing training montages or uh, if, if it looked like he was actually doing something, maybe it'd be more 50-50, but Worski seems motivated, especially after all the shit going on between them, uh, the pedo allegations, all that shit. I think, I think Worski wants to fucking hurt somebody. That's what I think too. And I know I went in. So one of my little favorite hobbies recently is every once in a while I go into the Kumite chat with my, well, somebody alleging to be me and uh, I'll stir them up and their show is just, it's really bad. So whenever I go in there, they, they don't have anything to talk about already. So they'll usually start spurging out at me uh, and I'll go in there. And the, the other day, uh, their chat was just like, Ralph, you're so stupid. Why, why would you pick Andy? He clearly has no chance. Oh, my God. You know what? I don't. You know, I, I, think he, I think he has a perfectly good chance. I think that that's bullshit. I mean, Tonka, you know, claims to have fought, you know, what, three like amateur MMA fights. First off, if that's true, and that's a big if because he claimed that you could find those records if you knew his real name or whatever. Everybody knows his fucking real name. Nobody can find those records. Every time he claims something, somebody makes a call and finds out it's complete bullshit. So I don't even believe at this point that he had those amateur MMA fights. Obviously, he was a wrestler because we've seen him do the wrestling thing. I mean, there's video. Well, I, I honestly think that he he fucked himself with Terra La Rosa, right? Oh, when, he, dude. when he was talking about, oh, you know, Andy is a pussy and Andy da, 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 and I can set up a match in five minutes and all this shit. And then it was coming down to the wire of actually setting it up. And he's talking with La Rosa and, uh, you know, other people. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, oh, I'll set it up. Give me a minute. And literally in 10 minutes, it's ready to go. I think he, I think he talked himself into this. I don't think he was really willing to do it in the first place, but he uh, just couldn't keep it under wraps, and she ended up taking up his offer and setting it up. Yeah, and then he fucked up with the promotion. Yeah, he's fucked up with her more than than I probably should say publicly. But yeah, with with him just being so salty and throwing shade towards her, not submitting a picture. I mean, the the poster looks goofy as fuck. It has Andy with an actual picture of Andy, and then a blue cartoon Indian man. On the other side, I mean, it just looks strange. It does. It does look weird. Um, is he wearing? Is he gonna body paint know. himself <laughs> when he shows up? Or? <laughs> I don't know if that's allowed in MMA. I know that they do that in wrestling sometimes with the body paint, but uh, I'm not sure if you're allowed to come out with the body paint or not. No, no. If you guys are all gonna be sitting in Andy's corner, right? Yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> how awkward is it gonna be if Failure and Vamp are sitting right next to you? <laughs> oh God! On the front row, you know what I mean? Uh, well, I'm, I'm assuming failure said he was going to go. I know vamp, I mean, vamp trails around him like a lost puppy. So we know she'll be there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm assuming, I'm assuming the, the whole gang will be there now. Uh, me and coach, uh, me for sure. We're trying to make sure coach can get in the corner too. Cause coach is coming with all his Kino cams. <laughs> well, you better be sure he can get in the country. Aren't yeah. they under martial law in the Ukraine right now? Uh, he's already coming to the country, and uh, yeah, they are actually. But he says it's no big deal, so I don't know. If it's it no is. big deal. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so he's gonna be. I think he said he's coming to New York already. And when I heard that, I said, "Well, why don't you come down to Knoxville?" And he's already booked the flight, so I'm gonna go pick him up from the from the Knoxville airport. We're gonna have a coach there. Dick Masterson's coming in. I think I don't think he's staying with us though. He's gonna get his own place probably. Uh, but coach is staying with us. Uh, Worski, I think Geek Dulu is coming. Uh, Nick Ricada is coming with his wife. He's just gonna make a little vacation of it. So, uh, yeah, we're we're gonna have we're gonna have a good time. I think as long as everybody shows up for the fight and there's actually a fight. 
Oh. Yeah, it's gonna suck if nobody shows up. Oh god, that's gonna be that. the worst thing ever. Uh, that's another thing. Maybe I'm biased, and I just really want him to show up because I've invested. Not it's not the money aspect. It's just I'm really excited to see it. And to I've watch. I've invested more than you have. I put up five hundred dollars to match Destiny on the purse. Oh, are y'all doing that? Well, that's what Morsky told me. He said Destiny's throwing five hundred bucks up for the winner, and I said I'll match Destiny then. By the way, Destiny said he would come on the kill stream. Now we haven't nailed down the date just yet, but uh, yeah, he's he said he's coming on, so we're trying to figure that out as well. Well, yeah, he was on Warpath with Worski like three or four weeks ago, yeah. uh, and it was pretty funny because Andy's like, "Oh, oh, Taka's such a faggot. You were so right, Destiny." And Destiny's like, "Shut the fuck up, Andy. You're only telling me that because you're <laughs> fighting with your boyfriend." <laughs> just shit right in his face. It was pretty good. <laughs> Destiny's pretty funny, dude. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm kind of curious as how that will go since uh, he he filed a copyright claim against me way back when and we we had some words but uh, now are you going to talk to him about how he set it up because I've seen a couple people mention this in various places that uh, Destiny set up his own like subscriber model he's got his own app he's got all, like his own chat uh, program and shit like he's tried to isolate all these different things to protect himself from getting like kicked off a platform. Yeah, I actually was going to talk to him about that. Somebody else is bringing that up to me. And there's some other things I want. I mean, I'm sure there'll be some, you know, banter back and forth as well. Maybe a few barbs, which I'm fine with. Uh, but I actually kind of wanted to have, you know, a semi-serious conversation with him about some of the some of the deplatforming stuff. So uh, we'll see. We're, we're still trying to nail it down. Originally, it was going to be today, but we're, we're going back and forth. And I'm uh, talking to Christy Winters. It's the intermediary on all this. So... Um, we'll see. I might just message him my, myself. Oh, see, now Worski left that out. They said uh, Destiny had the condition that somebody would have to film Tonka riding in on his shitty car if he was going to put up the 500. <laughs> oh, because yeah. he wants to see if it's a, a Benz or a Mercedes. Yeah, I remember right? he yeah. drives a Mercedes. <laughs> I also remember, what did he tell me one time? I don't know if he said this on air or not. I think he said it on air, but he, he said he bought an RV with, was it, was it, was it with all cash? I believe that's what he said, which if you know how much an RV costs, it's, it's quite expensive to just walk up and throw down all cash. Uh, well, yeah, but then again, I mean, uh, when the Kumite was going full swing, right, they were bringing in pretty large numbers in the morning with good amount of donations. Your last month on YouTube, what did you say it was like, what was it, 16 grand or something? Yeah, 16 grand. And they're supposed to be paying me that finally this month. So, right. So, you know, if, you, if you're pulling 16, he was probably pulling between 10 and 15. And he did it for what, six, seven months straight at that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, like I guess May maybe it's possible he did that. But yeah, YouTube allegedly is going to pay me that. They didn't pay it last month, but they, they allegedly it's going to come. I guess it should be, what, today or tomorrow? So Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I I don't think the money side, I think once it's cashed out, it's cashed out. Um, you're, you're not going to get your channel back, but I don't think no. they're going to pull the fund. They never responded to my appeal uh, request. I, I don't think, I won't hold my breath <laughs> waiting to yeah. get back on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, everybody's getting just, uh, yeah, I really hope ER's channel doesn't go down. I like his videos. It would suck. Yeah, he's he's catching some heat right now. Uh, his subs have exploded though. I, I don't know. We'll see if he hangs around. I'm, so, I'm glad his subs exploded. Uh, you know, <laughs> he's it's it's good shit. So I'm happy for him. But oh. hopefully it doesn't. You know. Oh, one more thing, real quick. Uh, Rusty Cage. I'm not sure if you're familiar with him. He's another YouTuber. Uh, they gave him. They deleted. I believe they deleted his entire channel over a playlist that he had. Yeah, it was over a playlist. A not playlist. a video, a yeah. playlist. And they didn't even give him a strike. They just straight deleted his channel over a playlist, which I up until then, I had never heard of that. I didn't even know it was possible. No. Okay, but his channel's got like a million subs. Yeah. So his channel's gone. He doesn't have it that's anymore? What I, that's what I saw yesterday. Let me, well, let me, let me go check his Twitter. Oh, no. No, his, his, his mate. Okay, that channel's back up. So maybe he got it restored. Let me, let me go. Maybe it was his live stream channel. Let me look on his Twitter. Gator, you saw the same thing I did, though, right? Yeah, I did, because, yeah, someone tweeted at me earlier today. Okay, let me see. Where is that? Let me... Why, how, why would they even take his... If it's a playlist and the videos in the playlist are the problem, why would he take down... Why would they take down his channel if he's not the one putting the videos up? That's what I don't understand. Hold on, I'm trying to find the original tweet. So it's not the main channel. Uh, okay, so they didn't... Wait, they didn't delete his channel. It was just... Okay, it was just a strike. It was a community guideline strike. Yeah. YouTube community flagged one or more of your playlists as inappropriate. After reviewing the content, we've determined the playlist violates our community guidelines. As a result, we removed the following playlist from YouTube. Yeah. The Knife Game songs. So, so did he... Get a strike for it, but they deleted his, his playlist. That's really weird. I've never heard of that before. I've never heard of them taking a playlist down. 
Yeah, there it is. And by the way, I apologize. I I was wrong on the channel getting deleted, but he got a strike off a of playlist. That's that's what it was. Yeah. So, I don't know. New territory being broken here. Oh wait, please note the removal has not resulted in a strike on your channel. Oh, did it say that? Hold on, go back. Yeah, uh, last paragraph. Oh, under. okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. We encourage you to review all playlists in your account to make sure they are in line with our community guidelines. Additional violations could result in strikes. Okay. Or even lead to account termination. So For guess, a playlist, that's fucking bizarre. Yeah. By the way, I butchered that two different ways, but but he did he did. <laughs> <get it. laughs> Anyway. Fucking breaking news on the <laughs> yeah, yeah. road. We got the it. stories nine ways up. <laughs> we got it straight in the end, though. That's that's what counts. All right, Jim. Thank you for joining us. We're gonna wrap it up. Uh, oh, what see. time? Uh, what time? Uh, uh, just during my stream, then I guess. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. That's that was your proposal. We'll just do it during your stream. So. Okay. All right. Well. Um. Yeah. I'll I'll see, <laughs> I'll see you Sunday the thirtieth to uh, air juggle your ass. Be good. December thirtieth. Let's do it. See you. All then, right. Uh, have a good one, gentlemen. All right. Farewell.